Hey guys, welcome to the 161st C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working in our Hangman project. And basically what we're going to be doing is just finishing up uh, drawing our labels in this group box right here. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is set the location for our label. So we're going to say labels to access our label list. And then the index is going to be I so that we access the label that we just created. And then we're going to want to say the location of that is equal to a new point since the location always has to be equal to a point. And then we're going to say on the x-axis it's going to be um, i times between, which we, calculate up, which we calculate up here. And then we're just going to want to add 10 to that. And then we're going to want to say on the y-axis it's going to be 80. And we're always going to want it to be 80 so that they're all on the same line. All right, so let me just explain this here. So let's say that between is equal to 40. So I'm going to write this over here, between equals 40. So we would do um, 0 times 40 since on the first loop i is obviously going to be 0. So 0 times 40 and then we're just going to want to add 10 to that so it would be 0 plus 10 is 10 and then on the uh, y it's going to be 80. So the first point is going to be about there and I add oops, and I add 10 to it so that it's a little bit um, off this form right here so it's actually on the group box because if I didn't do that, it would just be right against here up on the bottom form. All right, and then the second time through, it's going to be 1 times between, which is 40. So 1 times 40, which is 40. And then we're just going to add 10 to that, so we get 50. And then the y remains the same, so it's always 80. So we just go right there. And then the next time through, we would do uh, 2 times 40, since i would be 2 this time. And then we'd add 10 to that, so we'd get um, 90 because 80 plus 10 is 90, and then um, on the y it's 80, so we just put over here. So basically in between each label it's always going to be um, this between whatever. So if between is 40, it's going to be 40 in between each label. So this way the labels look evenly spaced. Alright, so now that we have the location all set up, let's set the text of these labels. So we're going to want to make the text of these labels always be an underscore to start out with, and then when the user guesses um, a letter, we'll change that later on. But for right now, we're just going to make it to be an underscore. So we're going to say labels i to access the label that we just created. And then we're going to say the text of that is equal to just an underscore. All right, so now that we've set the text of the control, we're just going to want to set the parent of the control uh, to this group box. So we're just going to say labels i for the label that we just created. And then we're just going to want to set the parent control equal to group box 2, which is this group box right here. And then we're just going to want to bring this control to the front. So we're just going to say labels i dot bring to front. And bring to front basically just brings the label on top of every other control. So if it's behind other controls, it'll just be brought up to the top on top of this group box. And then we're just going to want to create the control. So we're going to say labels um, i dot create control. And this will just basically create the control and show it on the form. All right, so let's just debug here to make sure this works. Yep, and uh, I guess this word has uh, four letters in it. And now that we can see there is a label for each letter, let's just change the text of this label to say the word's length is four. So we're going to say, I don't know what label that is, so let's just select it, label one. So we're just going to say label one's text equals word length plus the length of the word. So we're just going to say characters length minus one, because remember we don't want to count that um, slash n character. And we're just going to convert this into a string, so dot two string. All right, so now when we debug, we should have a different number of labels because it generated a different random word. And yep, and there you go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, perfect. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial, so see you guys.